Recently, I've been making a lot of guides and educational content on Monster Hunter, but not releasing a lot of actual gameplay, unless you want to count the speedruns. So today's video is inspired by a couple comments that I've got that I hope I put on screen, as well as a personal project of mine. Yeah, that's my PSP. I had a battery issue on the motherboard about a quarter of the way through my Freedom playthrough, and uh, waiting to fix that. Nonetheless, we keep it pushing, so for today I'm going to be fighting a special investigation with a trash switch axe, kind of alluring the theme of the recent videos that I've been making. So that switch axe is going to be pure switch axe Mikado of the Violent Mizutsune tree, and the special investigation is going to be against Goss Harag, well, afflicted Goss Harag, Lunagaron, and Apex Arzuros. So if you got the theme there, it's all fire. Before we start this video off, this is the set that I'll be using, and this is the augments that I'll be putting onto it. Now the point of this set is to exploit the Blood Awakening, so I've got a combination of skills that will help me out there. Other than the preliminary general skills that I have, attack, boost, fire, attack, and then the criticals, uh, I have the Part Breaker, Blood Rite, and Blood Awakening set. That way I can get a higher amount of stats based on the you know, amount of healing that you get as well as the conditional skills of Adrenaline Rush and Blade Scale Hone mixed with Embolden. That way I can actually dip and dodge around. I don't have to use Razor Sharp or Master's Touch. And hopefully that works out. And we're hoping that Arzuro spawns in Area 13 because there's a sap pool that's there. And what happens is when monsters are incapacitated through knockdown into that pool, they take longer to recover. Okay, good, he's there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like blink it forward. All right, please don't touch him, best boys. Thank you. Oh, he's a little bit of a small boy. Mm, I like that. And he's still attacking the small boys. Go ahead and enrage. Yep. I hit that best boy, dude. Oh my God, I'm so mad. Now, normally you can dodge that shoulder tackle by just going to the to Arzuros's butt, but I was trying to get something out of that. I thought I thought there would be something more. Also, that's a good way to turn on the situation. Whenever it is that you hit an EBC and the monster is behind you, you can always use overhead slash while turning around in order to land. Well, you can get a single hit off of that, but if they're a little bit further, you can always turn around, use overhead slash, and then use your double jump forward. Ooh. Ooh. He's not going to stay down for long. It's like he's about to get up in like one second. Yeah. That was the frog knockdown. Oh lord, please give me the blade scale before I go into white. Nice. Give it to me again. No, alright, you're just gonna flinch. You know, I need my my amp state. I grabbed this button. Oh, get me out of here. Okay. Let's see if I can get blade scale. Thank you. Now we just need it again. All right. By the way, going towards his butt, not taking any damage. Gotcha. Oh, he didn't end up in the sap. I only have time for one rotation. And then I have to immediately double slash and grab. Yep. Well, now I'm in white sharpness, I guess. I lied. For now, I'm, I'm like... Uh-oh. I thought I had amp state.
Or it's the butt. Ah, oh, don't you leave. I wasn't done yet. Oh, nothing to imagine if I knocked him out of state with that. So you might be wondering, like, why it is that I only take, like, mega potions and the seeds and stuff like that. Because I don't really need them. Like, I usually do that in, like, generations and um, for world, things like that. Because I never really need anything beyond that. Unless it's, like, a heroic set or something like that where, you know, it's necessary to be at that low kind of health. But, no. Nah. Okay, he's close to death. Now he's doing the bear death, the, the bear death slap, whatever you want to call it. Yes, give me that hand, boy. This won't kill me, right? No, it won't. I'll kill you, though. Oh, oh. Should I let the explosion kill him? That's me. I'm that guy. Get out of here, Jaggies or Boggies or whatever you want to call yourself. I've been playing too much three, by the way. Please don't hit me. Trash. Ah. All right. So Lunagaron's in the next area, or he's in the area where Gothrax spawns. It's either eight, five, or six, I believe it was. No, wait, nine. Excuse me. Nine, five, or six. Oh, he's on his way here. Never mind. But since Arzros is dead, he's going to leave the area because I think they did that. Uh, they added that mechanic in order to help with, like, you know, people trying to carve or something like that. So he's gonna leave the area two yeah two all right now admittedly i don't have a lot of practice against lunagaron the only amount of practice i got was when i got this investigation and then i wanted to turn it into a special investigation and so i didn't really give them that much time to Okay, I didn't get that much time to actually practice with him, and it's not a monster I particularly enjoy fighting, and I'll tell you why, right? Because it's like, Lunagaron is a monster whose hit zone values are so bad, and then when he gets the ice on his body, it doesn't matter, because, like, it literally does, you, like, you only get, like, a small portion of damage boost, and it's, like, not even that sequential. I mean, consequential. Jesus. I will say, he does do a lot of staggering moves. Alright. Go ahead. Yes, sir. I like hitting the head on that, like that UVC. You just have to be really close to the body and then also facing just slightly left because the swing swing from the right. The swing swing. <laughs> One, two. Oh, I think I broke his face. Yes, I did. That's what we'll be having to be hit now. Yes. Oh, that was so good. Woo! Uh-oh. He might do the slash after this. Yep. There it is. Now, most of the time, I'm trying to angle my body inside of his to make sure that the switch axis wide swings can actually hit the part that I'm going for, which is usually just his head. Because that's the part that's broken right now. Oh, he's not enraged anymore, so he's not really going to be doing anything special. I'll take it with Intrepid. Yeah. Now he's super enraged. Oh no, he's regular enraged. I'll know when he's super enraged. Uh. 
Oh, I didn't think that was gonna reach. Woof. Alright, I knocked him out of that. And unfortunately I lost my what you call them? I should really start incorporating more power for longer, but I'm so used to having like element file where it doesn't really matter because you can just get it back fast. Oh, he's leaving? Okay, well. Damn, to five? Usually he runs to three, so... It's weird that he hasn't gone sicko mode yet. Okay, now he's gonna go sicko mode. Yes, sir. Yeah, my intrepid heart also have to eat that. You gonna do it again? No, I guess not. Oh, he lost his rage. That's why he did that. Okay. Ow. Okay, I see the claw that's broken. It's that one on the side. Oh, I tried to grab the face. Oh, well. That missed? All right, well. Super? Nah, just the regular claw. Uh oh. Oh, it killed me because I was in the animation for too long. Ah. Uh. Well, that gives me time to replenish my items, I guess. Oh my god. So for those of you who don't know, um, whoa. So for those of you who don't know, whenever you're using elemental burst counter, the ending animation where you scrape against the ground, um you're still knockback resistant so you can take damage in there um but yeah i took a lot of damage from that swipe because this is not only a special investigation but oh that's how we start this yep <laughs> i've tried to go for the arm He's almost dead though, I'm surprised he killed me earlier. I'm grabbing his face, I don't care. Oh. Or that. Ooh, I should have let the explosion kill him. It would have been two for two. Oh, now nah, I feel like Garbaggio. This is the part where I have to lock in because I only have one life left to give. Alright, today my intrepid heart. So he's gonna go shoot his little ice ray. It's gonna go down up. And then from right left. And then he's gonna spawn the claws. So if you didn't know, Gosspack always shoots the ice beam like that. And then he'll go and sweep it the left side. However, that's before he does the the super the two blades, because he does have two modes technically. Can these things get out of the way? They are messing with my hit mon my hit value, whatever you want to call it, or my flinching. Excuse me. Oh, get me out of here! Woo! So that move will basically kill me if it hits.
Ooh, got him. And I did that with my back turn. Ooh. Oh, juicy. So, uh, depending on how much damage I do here, he should be doing uh, two blades afterwards. So, as long as I can do as much damage as possible, then yeah. While also trying to break his arms, because. Oh, I wasn't close enough. Now, if he's enraged, he'll try and throw a second punch. Oh, yeah, he's, he's roaring after this. There's no doubt about that. He's going to finish that, and then... Oh, no. You're going to back up just a little bit. Okay, now you're enraged. Come on. Come on. What are you doing, man? Stick to the script. Oh, my God. He's going off kilter. He's doing his own thing. Oh, no. Oh, I dodged it. Got my purple back. Yes, sir. All right, now is he doing the ice beam into double swords? Nope, he's still doing the hammer. That went over my head. Oh. I'll take that. Uh-oh. That's going to kill me. I'm going to die. One of you? One of you? Oh, no. Never mind. Nobody's in the area. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, I live. Huh. Yeah, they really need a fix stun mechanic. Like, in, in Monster Hunter Wilds, stun better be the stars. I better be and taking that stuff out because, dog. You know what? Let me cheat a little bit. Eh. Oh my goodness. Let me get out of here. Good timing. Ooh. I know he was ready for more action. Oh my goodness. Oh, what? I'm not doing enough to actually. Alright, let me just try and. Oh, it was worth it. Why hasn't his arms broken yet? Oh! Am I dead? No, I'm good. <laughs> you know what? Let me do something smart. I know I'm on Mail of Hellfire, but let me just do that real quick. Because... Am I doing more damage right now with the element higher? What am I at? 114. Good golly god. Should I have been doing this in blue scroll the whole time? I thought I was using power file. Oh my goodness. I took that hit and didn't think it would actually almost kill me.
Give me that. Oh, I grabbed his butt, I guess. Damn, this hand reached all the way back there. This man's scratching his ass. Ooh. -hoo. Okay, this should be the double swords now. I'm gonna get away from him. <laughs> okay, I thought he was gonna go the distance. Do it again. Oh yeah, you're sweeping it. Yep. Oh, you're leaving again, bro, with the ice on. Oh. I'm not saying I'm stressed. I'm just saying I'm having conniptions. Asleep, Toad. We need those. Don't do anything, Remobo, please. Don't hurt me, please. No, he jumped over it. I know what comes next. Yeah. Please. I already burnt my sleep, Toad. I'm scared, Dad. Oh. Mom, help! All right, I'm good. Woo. Oh my God! I wouldn't have survived that if I was uh, in Red Scroll. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> that move scares me. I should have got stun resistance. <laughs> My heart rate. Ah! Oh, he's scraping that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, thank God. Yeah, take it, take it all. You can't face the truth. Let me grab your butt. Yes, sir. I don't want to take damage for this. I just want to hurt. Oh, it's not fair. I did everything right. All right, let's get out of here. Hey -o. Oh, I thought I was going to do the swords. I was like, well, I don't have anything to counter. I guess there's nothing I can do about this. Do it again. Yep. I was just robbed, denied my birthright. You gonna keep it in the ground? No. Are you gonna keep it in the ground? <laughs> All right. This is so stressful. Oh, let me get out of here. Come. Oh. Whoa. Let's do this. Come at me, boy. Oh, I can't believe it, bro. I have to kill you on this. My heart, it can't take you. Yeah. All right, we're good. All right, woo, all right, all right, all according to plan. All right, how long did that take? 26 minutes, Jesus. Well, we can consider this challenge completed. A trash weapon or set can still be used to do the impossible, but a good weapon can sure expedite the process. However, as I've said many times before, a meta weapon or set does not a good player make. Any whoosies, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see what special investigations I can get to do another thematic set. Unless someone has something that they're willing to give me. 
So until next time.